Wow. I fucking suck at this today. Hey, it's Sue in the Restricted section. Today I'm doing a July wrap up and an August TBR. So let's get into it. Um, I read, I think like 10 books or something in July, so it's a lot, but I've already talked about a lot of them, so this should go pretty quickly. The first book I read this month was El Defo by C.C. Bell. Um, I borrowed it from the library, so I don't have a copy anymore, but uh, this was a children's graphic novel about a little girl who is deaf and sort of how she deals with it. And she becomes deaf when she's, I want to say, four years old or something like that, um, because she is ill and it causes her to become deaf, but she can hear with the help of an aid. And I thought this was a pretty good book. It was cute. Um, the author, it, it was like an autobiographical, so it was based on the author's own experience being deaf as a child. Well, she's still deaf, I assume, but... But I think it would be relatable to any child, really, just trying to make friends and and fit in. So I gave it, um, I think I gave it four out of five stars. It feels like it's been forever since I read it, so I'm trying to remember my thoughts on it. But um, I'm pretty sure I gave it four stars. And then the second book I finished was The Kite Runner by Colette Hassini, and uh, I already did a full review of this. Uh, I'll link it down below if you're interested in, in watching it. Uh, I did not really like this book. <laughs> so unpopular opinion there, but uh, I gave it two stars. I didn't think it was a very good book. Like, I just thought it it just plain wasn't, wasn't good. Um, so there's that. <laughs> the third book I finished was The Color of Water, A Black Man's Tribute to His White Mother by James McBride. Um, I also borrowed this one from the library and already returned it, but... This is James McBride writing about his mother, who was a white Jewish woman, and his father was a black man, and she was very much more part of the black community than the Jewish community. She was not a part of the Jewish community at all, in fact, um, after she had her children, or married her husband and had her children, um, she was actually completely shunned by the community. They sat shiva for her, which means they considered her dead, basically. Um, because this was, you know, 1930s or 40s, I believe. Um, so it was almost unheard of for a white woman to be with a black man. This was really good. I, I really enjoyed it. it. You got a look into her and then also his own um, experience growing up, so it was kind of half biography, half autobiography, I feel like. Yeah, and she had 12 children. She raised 12 children, which is just like a feat in its own, but also just, you know, going out and living her life the way she wanted to live it. I really admired her, admired her after reading this book, and um, I thought it was really, really good. I think I also gave this one four stars. All the rest of the books that I finished this month I read for uh, Booktubeathon, so if you want to hear more about them I'll link Megan and I's Booktubeathon wrap up down below, but I'm just going to like quickly through go through them because there's quite a few. But first I read The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. This was a reread for me and I buddy read it with um, the ladies over at Game of Tomes and I loved it. I just love, I mean, it's just a great fun book. I gave it five stars. Next I read Every Heart a Doorway by Sean and McGuire, and um, I did enjoy this, but I just kind of was unsatisfied. I think it was too short, and I gave it three stars. Next I read Matilda by Roald Dahl, and uh, this was fun. It was, um, I almost kind of think I liked the movie better. It's been a very long time since I saw the movie, though, so I don't know, but, um, yeah, it was a fun, cute book. I loved Roald Dahl a lot as a kid, and um, it was nice to revisit him. I gave it four stars. Next, I have Bitch Planet Book 2, President Bitch, by Kelly, Kelly Sue DeConnick and Valentine Delandro, and I loved this um, second book. better. I liked it better than the first one. I thought the first one was good, but this one was, like, fantastic. I gave it five stars. Then I have Batman the Killing Joke by Alan Moore and Brian Boland. Um, I did enjoy this quite a bit, more than, kind of more than I was expecting to, and I gave it four stars. And then lastly, I have Through the Shattered Looking Glass by M.L. Crane, 
And I really enjoyed this too. I thought it was really compelling. Um, the plot was like A+. Plus. Um, the writing could use like some more editing, I think. Um, so I gave it three stars. And that's all the books that I finished in July. So now I'll get into my TBR. Um, I'm currently reading The Sasquatch Hunter's Almanac by Sharma Shields. Um, this was my July TBR jar pick. I almost never actually finish the book in the month that I'm supposed to for those, but I have started it. I've got a pretty decent chunk through it, maybe about a third of the way, and I'm actually quite enjoying it so far. It's very odd. <laughs> it's a very odd book. There's a lot of magical, weird stuff in it. I don't, I'd hesitate to call it magical realism because I feel like it's a little beyond that. It's got like a lot of weird shit in it, but I'm I'm really enjoying it so far. And then next I have, Je Megan and I have decided to um, participate in Tome Topple this time around. Um, by the time I put this up, we should have already put up our TBR for that, but um, I picked out three books. I kind of doubt I'll get to the third one, but it was just like, just in case. But um, I do plan to read The Country of Ice Cream Star by Sandra Newman and The Nix by Nathan Hill. And then I might read Vanity Fair by William Thackeray, or I might read Stiletto by um, Daniel O'Malley, which is the sequel to The Rook, but I would have to go get that book because I don't yet own it. And um, also my book club's pick for this month is uh, My Life on the Road by Gloria Steinem, so I plan to um, read that. That is... Um, I think it's a memoir, although I've heard that it's kind of more more just about like feminism than about her actual life. I'm not sure if that's accurate or not, but um, yeah, so I plan to read that one. I've heard good things, so I have high hopes for it. And then um, I am going to go ahead and draw another TBR jar pick. And oh, also you might have noticed that I said last month that I was definitely going to read this this month and I still didn't do it, but that's The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. Um, I kind of put it off partly because I didn't really have time and also because Megan said she wanted to reread this book this year and um, so I think we're maybe gonna read it together so I'm gonna wait and you know whenever the whenever we both have time to do it that's when I'm gonna read it but now I'm gonna draw my uh, August TBR jar pick maybe I'll actually read it in August I kind of doubt it because I got a lot of I got a lot of shit to read in August. I've also, Megan and I decided to start our own separate um, IRL book club, so I'm going to have another book that I need to read for that, but let's delve into this TBR jar and pick something. Alrighty. One fell out. I'll have to find that. We've got The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. I could probably use that because if you could see my house right now, you would probably be appalled because <laughs> it's a fucking mess. Um, yeah, so I'm going to read that one and I'm going to have to make sure to read it in public because my copy... Let me just go get it. Here it is. The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up by Marie Kondo. I think this is actually translated from Japanese by Kathy Hirano. But um, I'm going to have to make sure to read this in public because it was printed upside down. So the text, I have to read it this way for the text to be upright. So, and the, also the margins are fucked up, like the whole inside is just fucked up, which is kind of ironic considering what the book is. And I ordered it on Book Outlet, so I didn't know that when I bought it. But um, it's kind of funny. But yeah, so... I plan to read that and hopefully get my shit together a little bit. Clean my house. I got too much shit. Alright, so uh, that was my June wrap up. Or, whew, it's August now. <laughs> that was my July wrap up and August TBR. Let me know if you guys have read any of these books. Um, let me know what you thought. Let me know how your reading went in June. And, uh,. There'll be links below where you can find myself and Megan other places on the internet. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!